Welcome back to In the Trenches. It's 12 years and counting since the Black Knights have been to a college football bowl game. The Independence Bowl versus Auburn in 1996 being the last one, but this year's six wins will automatically get the Black Knights a berth in the Eagle Bank Bowl in Washington, D.C. on December 29th. Army has a direct tie-in to play the eighth team selected to go bowling from the Atlantic Coast Conference. Now, just last week, though, Army officials announced that they've also reached an agreement with the Emerald Bowl in San Francisco. If the Black Knights can win at least six games in the 2011 season, they'll be guaranteed a berth in that postseason game. Their potential Emerald Bowl opponent will be a team from the Pac-10. Well, Army football fans have to go back to 1985 to recall the team's last bowl game victory, a 31-29 win in the Peach Bowl against Illinois. Well, Rich Ellerson is the man who Army football fans are banking on to get them back into a bowl game. Ellerson held his weekly press conference Tuesday as his team prepares to take on its next opponent, the Ball State Cardinals. We're going to try to play this as, a, as an ongoing story here. This is this isn't uh, game to game. This this we we're, we can treat this week like a long halftime. You know, we're we're in the middle of something here, and we don't have time to get our you know uh, get our he our feelings hurt or our, our, our feathers ruffled. We we we've got work to do. Uh, it, the way I see it, the the, the game is tied, and, and we need to come back out and get a few more things fixed in this next opportunity, and 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 keep keep this thing going. Um, you know, we're not going to get down on ourselves. We, we're going to, we, there's, there's an awful lot to be positive about. Clearly, there are things that have to be done better. We watched the whole game start to finish as a team, offense, defense, kicking game, to see how a game flowed, to see, you know, to, to watch the other side of the ball play, to watch them be successful, and in some cases to call some guys out, say, hey, you know, we, we need you here. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, just see how, how fragile but also how how doable this this uh, this task is uh, so it'll, it'll it, this is going to be an ongoing process I, I think you know we love to play clearly the, the, this football team likes the game they care about each other they love to play the game they're looking forward to the next opportunity um, you know we're uh, certainly we, we we're, we're we're devastated we weren't successful at the same time you know that that's ancient history you know last week at this time I told you that the Eastern Michigan game was was ancient history by today Duke is ancient history. We, we've got to get ourselves 100% focused on our future, uh, look at this thing from an analytical standpoint. Where, what is our opponent looking at? Where do we need to improve and, and move, move forward? Because we're, you know, we've got a great opportunity coming up on Saturday. Another question, AM or no? Uh, yes, one more. Uh, Coach, aside from uh, Darius Williams and Malcolm Brown, who didn't dress for the Duke game, are there any injuries that would keep someone from dressing or playing against Ball State? Nope. Any other questions for those joining us via teleconference? Coach, it's Rich Tomaselli from uh, Army Official Sports Report. Um, defense, 21st in the country in um, um, yards per game, 17th in the rush. I know it's only two games, but can you give an overall assessment of the defense after those first two and, and, and what needs to be improved? Well, as I said, I, was, I, I think we're going to have to be a little bit more multiple. I don't think we're going to be able to sit there for folks. Uh, and that's, but that's in, the, you know, that's in the works. That, that's been in the works. Uh, but I think the thing that we can be proudest of is just that, that situational presence, their ability to go in and regardless of the, how, they've, how, how they've come to be on the field, you know, there's a, they go in after a long kick return and nothing. They go in after a turnover and nothing. They just repeatedly, they're able to go into the, onto the, into the game in, in critical situations with their back against the wall and, and, and just you know, not blink, just keep playing, keep playing aggressively. They have great expectations. Uh, as I say, we've got it because we are absolutely, we talk about being on the edge and we're an aggressive outfit. We, we, we don't play with a lot of margin for error. So that's why you end up with those couple of plays along the way that look like somebody fell out of a, you know, a plane somewhere. But uh, we, we've got to, obviously there's, there's, we can work on that uh, because one of those, one of those is tough. One of those absolutely needed not to happen. So, uh, We'll go to you know we'll go to work on both of them. One will for sure eliminate two. One has entered the conference. Coach, uh, don't know too much about Ball State. What do they do? Well, they they um, offensively they they've got a little fire plug of a running back that's that's that that can make you miss in a phone booth. Uh, they've got a quarterback, the young quarterback uh, um, Page, that's a, a freshman. Very great legs. I mean, can pull it down and make stuff happen. He's a cowboy out there. You know they. He's thrown some beautiful balls. Uh, he's made some great plays with his legs. He, they're they're struggling, I think, with consistency. I think what they what they would tell you that there's uh, missed opportunities and 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 
and, and, and things along those lines. They've got a gifted skill, you know, a lot of skill out there at receiver. Um, they, they, um, they've had a, they've had a, they had a real, they lost a real good tight end, and that'll be interesting how they evolve their, their attack around that loss. But uh, um, as I say, they're, they're, they're running back, they're quarterback, you know, they, they can give you nightmares because as I say, a guy like that, they can, you can do everything right and, 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 you know, be, they can be singing. Ball State enters Saturday's game versus Army with a record of 0-2. Kickoff is set for noon. Well, coming up, I like to call it Sergeant's time. My favorite time. The hit of the game and the play of the game are next. Buckle those chin straps. That's in order. Thank you.